What's up guys, it's Lex and I am back with another video and this time we're diving a little bit deeper into the Logitech G Hub application, specifically highlighting what I like to use in order to make my stream life a little bit easier after working a nine to five job. I hope that you guys enjoy, like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell for whenever a video goes live. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is actually open up the Logitech G Hub application. I've already got it pinned down here for ease of access so I don't gotta do too much more whenever I'm trying to load up my stream. The best part about this is that all of my devices that are Logitech are already programmed into my Logitech G Hub including my mouse, my mouse pad, my keyboard, and both my litter beams which power the lighting on my stream. The best thing that I like about using the light sync feature in the Logitech G Hub is that I can actually program my lights to activate with my camera. So whenever I open up OBS down here, um, or whenever I close it, say at the end of my stream, all of my lights will power down. Now I can't show you right now because if I did that, then I wouldn't be able to record this video, unfortunately. However, I can promise you that as soon as I power up OBS or Streamlabs or anything like that, my lights are going to turn on or they will turn off whenever I power it down, which is really nice because it saves me an extra step whenever I am getting on stream or even getting off stream. Another really cool feature about the Logitech G Hub light sync option is that I can actually temperature control, AKA adjust the hue on my lights right from my fingertips. I don't have to actually manually do it on the litter beams, which I told totally could do if I wanted to. However, I can manually program my litter beams to come on with the specific hue every single time and the specific brightness whenever I power them on and or power them down. Personally, I like to keep my lights a little bit more on the warmer side. This is because I'm staring at a computer screen all day. If you work in the tech world, you absolutely know that your eyes are just not feeling good after a really long day of staring at your computer screen. Sometimes you just want a little bit of a break. I know for a fact that your building that you're probably working in probably has some bright lights and your eyes hurt and those blue light glasses probably aren't doing it for you. I know that whenever you come home and you wanna stream and just take it easy, you don't wanna risk hurting your eyes. I personally love to use this warm feature. It really makes me feel better. And it also like really sets the mood. See like watch, I could put this all to cool. I could put all my lights to cool and it's like, what? Like kind of cool vibes, kind of edgy, but kind of giving hospital. What I like to do is turn up the warmth because it makes me feel really cozy and I know that my eyes are not going to be as strained by the end of my streaming session or my gaming session um, after a long day of work. Another really awesome feature about Light Sync is the keyboard functionality. One of my favorite uh, presets that I like to use actually is called Starlight. What it does is it mimics night sky or all the keys on your keyboard become one solid color, but a very select few of them will actually twinkle a uh, different color, kind of like a star in a night sky. Um, you can customize the color as well. You can customize all these different animations. This could be a ripple effect, starlight, echo press, whatever you want it to be. These are just some of the really cool features that I love about Logitech G Hub. They make my life a whole lot easier uh, whenever I'm trying to come home after a really long day. Everything's already pre-programmed for me. Um, if you guys are ever actually interested in setting up like a profile, if you will, all you have to do is go down to here, go to manage profiles and I already have one called stream and all of my settings are already pre-adjusted. So my lights are going to be the same color. My keyboard is going to be the same color. My DPI is going to be the same, all that good stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you guys next time.